get a few pictures. <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest one I've ever, uh, well, ever seen. That's, that's just what we wanted, brother. Yeah. I was telling him, I seen a nice bug. I was watching a doe. I was watching something caught my eye, and he came out right on the edge of the trees. Yeah. And he was like, you looking around, he was watching the doe, but he wouldn't go after her. Yeah. He was watching her, and I was like, and my gun was over here, so I grabbed the gun and turned around. I guess he went back in the woods. I never seen him again. Look at the mass on that thing. Yeah. It's huge compared to the Florida ones. Where'd you hit him at? Um, Looks like right there. Which way was he aiming? He'd actually, I guess he'd come out like right around here is where I seen him. Hmm. Kind of like, because the way it juts out in it, see him and he was walking this way. And he kind of turned. Uh -huh. um, Jeremy, they don't got no, no big ones here, or what? Oh yeah, these are these are big deer. So yeah, guys, uh, man, this is crazy. Uh, Leon and Alton put us on on some really good deer. So yeah, it's a great buck there. We've been saving this deer for you, and we got a couple more out there. We're gonna try to get you on the next couple of days. <laughs> and uh, we did a lot of preparation, getting ready for it, and just preparing for you guys coming up. And um, I'm glad you was able to get on this morning. Yeah, and, I, I mean that's a really good buck. That's what 11 point. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, Biggest it, one. It would have been a 12, but that one broke off. Yeah, never right never uh, formed or never something? Never formed all the way, but that would have been a good 12 points, a good heavy deer. Yeah. The deer just now coming in right here. We're right over on the Alabama line. This here is up in LaGrange, Georgia. So um, it's really taking off right now, but this is a really good deer. And I think it's Jeremy's <laughs> best, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's best best deer, so just really a good buck and a good job shooting it. I oh, appreciate it, man. These deer are so much bigger than the Florida ones. Man, it's uh, it's crazy just seeing, like, even the doe, this all the doe, and then a six point of mine. That's what well, you guess to make the weight is. Um, gutted or ungutted? Uh, but feel, uh, uh, before we before we dressed him. Um, yeah, I'm thinking like 180 ish. Yeah, I think yeah. it probably went wow. 180 easily. Yeah. And uh, so, really good buck. And I'm proud that you killed him. I appreciate it. So, so hopefully, we can get you on some more. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all did a lot of work on what are some of the things y'all do to, to prep for these, for the deer? Uh, we planted some food plots this year. We got, uh, I think, four or five different food plots and some shooting houses. We we got a variety of stands and we've been feeding them for months out here. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the uh, electric feeders, battery operated feeders, mm -hmm. plus some places where actually where you kill this and we just put it on the ground because mm -hmm. they like it better that way in that area. Gotcha. It's funny how, you know, you'd be surprised in different areas what they adapt to and what they do. Yeah. You, some areas you can put a feeder in and they'll kind of get away from that area. Gotcha. And, but I, we've seen that in in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, in this particular area, we just pour it out on the ground and and it's a, it's a good little stand. That's the second buck out of that stand this year. Yeah. And the good thing too, one thing you might want to mention is that stand placement where you put the stands at. Yeah. Yeah, yeah stand placement and uh, and that's what we do. You know, we, we learn the deer out here and learn where they're crossing at and you know, and, and then we put stands accordingly and you know their habitat where they bed at their habitat you know thickets coming into a you know where it makes a transition coming from a thicket to uh, some pines maybe or something like that by like this particular area where jeremy killed this deer uh it's a lot of it's small pines in there i think they're about four or five years old now and then just beyond that is a, is a thicket that runs into a creek and um you know, and it's got a lot of hardwoods in there, so this deer, they transitioned out of that area into the pines where you killed him at. Gotcha. Well, awesome, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Well, I'm, I'm happy for you, you know, and that's, you know, it, I'm, I'm just as thrilled about you killing him as if I would have <laughs> killed him. Yeah. That's kind of even like, like on the boat, you know, when other people catch, you know, yeah. fish, you know, I'm happy. I mean, it's fun. Yeah. So. We've been looking forward to you guys coming up here for a long time now. And, um, 
got so, it done the first morning. Yeah, <laughs> appreciate y'all watching the video. Um, super excited, we're gonna clean this buck out and we're gonna get back at it and uh, we'll uh, see y'all in the next video. So stay tuned.